Good morning guys, it is 7.50 right now, so I have 30 minutes until my check-in. Today I'm working once again the triangle turn, how I am doing San Diego to Denver, and then Denver to San Francisco, and then San Francisco back to San Diego. I do have a three hour sit time in Denver though, so that's the negative part about this trip. Our duty day today is 12 hours and 22 minutes, if everything goes well, uh, but I changed my hair color. <laughs> I just decided to go back to darker hair color um it's kind of brownish reddish i really don't know what color it is but i like it so far and the thing about every october i just get the itch to do something to my hair i am going to get something to eat at the airport because my smarty pants i had leftover pizza and i took it out from the fridge i put it you know in my in my little container and I literally just left it sitting there in the counter. I realized when I was dropping Milo, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my pizza. But I was a little too far from home to be able to go get it. So hoping that everything goes well and that it goes by fast and no delays, no nothing. So fingers crossed for a good trip. I'm also working first class galley again. Oh, there goes plane. <laughs> so we have no power, so we can't do some of our, um, what do you call it, pre-checks. And the galley's a mess. There's no really stock, there's trash everywhere. So just waiting to see if they come and fix that. Oh my gosh, it's so cold on here. It's a little bit chilly. Oh. <laughs> And these are our big overheads, like really big overheads. Uh, I changed out of my uniform to go to the lounge to go get some food. I tried to get a nap in the crew room, but that didn't work out. I'm about to go back to base really quick and just change back into my uniform and then basically go to the gate and then get ready to fly to San Fran. Hello. Okay, so we are on a 737-800 for this route. And unfortunately, it's Denver. They've been having issues with catering, so we don't have any snacks or food for sale in the back. We barely have alcohol in the first class cabin. Um, so like Denver catering in the last two months has been a mess and it's just, it sucks. Do you guys have like festivals in that to hand out? Nothing. No. Okay, he just called us. Once in flight, I realized that catering had given us the wrong napkins. It was from another different airline. The meal tray for dinner service was also wrong because it's not supposed to be a fruit bowl. It's supposed to be a salad. And we also are supposed to have real utensils. So I was still a check that I have restocked the bar cart, especially here in San Diego because San Diego is not a base. Therefore, we had to restock the bar cart for the next crew. And I triple checked myself to make sure that the door is completely disarmed before leaving the aircraft. Finally off from work. It is 9, 10 p.m. right now. And I was doing the same weird thing that I was checking my car to make sure like my tires are good and things like that. So we actually got delayed coming from San Francisco. It was basically, they changed our direction of takeoff and that added 20 minutes for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> so that's why we got in late. And um, then we sat for 30 minutes because of bumpiness. So service was pretty quick. It was only an hour flight, so we didn't really have much time, but we still did service in Wolf Cabin, the first and in the economy. 
and uh, overall the last flight we had about 40 open seats all the standbys got on so that was good the other two flights were completely full and uh, the second flight we actually had jump seaters in both the flight deck and then the flight attendant jump seat so it was a full house <laughs> and now i'm about to go pick up milo and then tomorrow milo is getting neuter so tomorrow he's losing his balls early in the morning i don't know if i'm allowed to say that <laughs> I actually had a very interesting flight, uh, the second flight from Denver to San Francisco. Um, passengers were really nice, uh, which was great. But I had a passenger basically trying to set me up with his employee. And it was super awkward because I was just like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm over here talking to him, not knowing what's happening. And then all of a sudden he's like, are you single? Do you have any kids? And I was like, I am single. I don't have any kids. I have a dog, if that counts. And he was like, well, my, you know, he didn't say employee, but whoever his, you know, his name, um, he's single as well. <laughs> and I think you guys will hit it off. And I was just like, okay, cool. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> like the whole thing was just really weird. Um, and like I had had that happen before where people like will give you business cards or like will ask you on dates and things like that. Like, the reason why I'm so single because I literally always say no to dates when it comes to passengers and also coworkers. Um, <laughs> maybe I should, you know, change my own rule and be like, okay, I'll, I'll give someone a try. I don't know. But uh, it's funny because a lot of other flight attendants have found their spouses that way. I don't know. I just feel weird about having going on a date with a passenger. I'm still debating if I'm gonna send the guy a text message or not. Overall, good crew. The crew was great. It was a long day. I This is the only thing I dislike about this trip. It's just that your duty day is so long because of the sit time. I kind of wish that we didn't have sit time because that way it would be more productive. Um, but yeah, so let's go pick up Milo and then let's go home.